is up everybody. So today I want to talk about my new updated CAD design and my concept electric longboard that I'm designing here in Onshape. As you can tell I have three longboards lined up here. The longboard you see in the back is my current electric longboard that I have already built and is the one that I'm upgrading. Uh, the longboard in the middle was my first CAD design and the board on the right is my updated CAD design. And you can find this model on Onshape and I will put a link in the description down below so that you can also view it. Uh, I've lined them up side by side here so that you can easily tell the differences in the rocker bogey suspension. And as you can tell, I can easily move the boards over the terrain. Now, as you can see, the two boards in the front easily glide over the bumps in the ground, whereas the front of the longboard in the back, without the suspension, moves up and down rather dramatically. So what is good about this is that it obviously gives a smoother ride, but it also makes the longboard go faster and farther. And this is because a lot of energy is lost whenever you hit a bump, uh, because the board has to lift your whole body weight whenever you hit any sort of divots in the ground. So I've also updated the board itself, since it now holds 18650 cell batteries, which are in integrated inside of the board, as you can see here. And if you don't know what 18650 cell batteries are, basically they are laptop batteries. And the advantage with them is that they can hold about twice as much capacity in them as the same size as LiPo batteries that I used in the old board. I've also updated the board itself since it now has these wooden pieces in the front, as you can see. And the gray piece, uh, which is behind the wood, uh, will be made out of foam. So this is because I plan on wrapping the entire board in carbon fiber, which will make a carbon fiber wood and foam composite. So the other thing I've updated here is my folding mechanism. So as you can tell, the boards on top fold by pressing the two pieces of the board together, and the rods protrude through the little holes through the board itself and out the other side. Uh, you can see how the board on top, which is the most recent version, folds into a smaller size, since now the holes where the trucks will be mounted to are much farther towards the front of the board, which minimizes the space and will make carrying the board much, much easier. So if I bring this backpack here in, you can see how the board could very easily fit inside the backpack, uh, whereas a more typical longboard simply couldn't because it's just too big and awkward to manage to fit inside of a backpack. So I've also been running some stress analysis tests here in SimScale uh, to see where the major weaknesses in the board are at this point. So the blue that you see signifies low stress and the green is higher stress and eventually the red is the highest stress. Uh, as you can see, there's a considerable amount of stress on either end where the trucks and the wheels are. And what's kind of funny about this is that the carbon fiber on my current longboard that I actually use every day is definitely weakening the most in that area, which really just goes to show just how accurate the software really is. Uh, I've also been playing around with the carbon fiber rods themselves but I have a lot more planning to do to see how many rods I should use, what diameter, and the placement of them as well. So that's it for now, but I plan on adding some other things to the board, like a motor mount which can easily be loosened without tools so that you can ride the longboard even when the battery is dead, without all the resistance of the belt and the motor. Uh, I have some other ideas that I still need to design, but I think they'll be pretty cool. So stick around, I'll keep you posted. See ya.